never want to be that person that has to change their lifestyle or change who they are to appease other people. You know, I think I stopped embracing the person I want to be, which is strong, sexy, confident, powerful. And so it's, it's been a really hard journey. It's hard to explain what I do because I'm a professional golfer. I am a social influencer, and then I'm also an ambassador for CyberSmile, which is an anti-bullying organization. So I'm an ambassador for golf, and I'm an ambassador for people. I'm involved with CyberSmile, an anti-bullying organization. It's a subject that I'm very passionate about because I've been bullied my entire life. I get slut-shamed, I get harassed, I get death threats for wearing the stuff that I do. And it's, you know, a tank top that, you know, if I bend over might show some cleavage or a skirt that's a little bit more form-fitting. And no one ever looks at the person that I am or the good work that I do. It's been bad my entire life, but the last two years have been the worst. With social media, I'm lucky because I have so many great followers and so many great people who support me on this journey. But in return, I also have a lot of people who are just hateful, hateful people. My first year playing my very first European tour event, it was in Dubai, I got a sponsor's exemption and it created this huge kind of buzz and a lot of media attention and a lot of people were saying that I only got the invitation because of my social media presence or that I am selling my body or I'm objectifying myself. There were so many negative, negative comments, death threats, um, harassment at the highest level and it really affected me. The night before the tournament I was sitting in the bathroom just bawling. And I was like, I, I don't want to go through this pain, this feeling of helplessness, being alone, scared. And I said, I never want another girl or boy or anyone to feel the way that I felt in that moment. And how scared I was and how helpless I felt in that I was bullied so bad to the point where I didn't want to live anymore. And people say these things and they think that it's funny or that it has no effect on that person. And people, I think, think that words don't mean anything, but words cut deep. They really do. Now, as an ambassador for CyberSmile, I go to schools all around the country and I speak to young girls and boys about cyberbullying, what it is, and it should never get to that point where, you know, that worst scenario, you know, I think we need to really take cyberbullying on as a serious subject and we need to change how we approach it. We just all need to come together and embrace everyone's individuality and their individual accomplishments. I know people will accomplish things that I won't accomplish and I will cheer you on and you can cheer me on and be better together. You know, this shoot was, it felt like it was for me, it was meant to be. It was right time, right place, right moment in my life with everything that I've gone through. I finally took back what is mine. I took back my body. I took back my sexuality. And to kind of just be like, you, you guys want to see sexy? I'm going to show you sexy, and I'm going to do it my way. Oh, this one, look at that. Ooh. So pretty. It was, it was really liberating to be myself and and not feel like I'm less of someone else or I'm less of a person or that I haven't accomplished anything or that I'm a slut or my parents hate me or all of these things that people call me every single day to finally like embrace the sexy side and be confident 
and like love who I am and love the skin I'm in. It was a really powerful moment and I'm so thankful. And I'm almost to the point where it's like, if you like it, you know, great. If you don't like it, then, you know, that's, that's your issue, but you're never gonna take away the fact that I'm a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. And I'm gonna have that for the rest of my life. Hey YouTube, it's Ashley Graham, and if you like what you see, prove it. Click that button to see some more.